outlook is slow to load and takes a long time to start here are six ways you can fix it this is the windows club the issue can occur due to many reasons one of which is the ue hyphen v sync which prolongs the startup of outlook and ultimately times out here we have shown how to fix it let's get started Method 1. The issue has occurred to many on the recent feature update who have installed a cumulative update or if the IT has deployed user experience virtualization UE-V that has the sync method set to none. It is also applicable to Microsoft Outlook 2016 CAW in xx.xml UE-V template was registered. When the sync method is set to none, Windows ignores the synchronized timeout, which is by default, only 2 seconds. It results in UE-V timing out after 1 minute. Change the default sync method sync provider. According to Microsoft, none is specific to a workstation that has a permanent network connection to the setting storage path. Navigate to the template catalog path that is defined in the UEV configuration settings located here. Percent, program data percent, backslash Microsoft, backslash UEV, backslash inbox templates, backslash Microsoft Outlook 2016 CAW in xx.xml. Change version to 3 and asynchronous to true. However, this is only applicable to Office 2019 and Office 2016. Method 2 Outlook stores all the data in the PST file. If the file size is enormous, then it could slow down the loading process. Apart from loading, it also increases the time taken for reading, moving and deleting email messages. It would be a good idea to delete your emails or find a way to split PST files to reduce the lag. We have a dedicated article on how to do that, so check it out first. Method 3. Most of the add-ins in Outlook load when the software is loaded. If there are too many outdated or non-essential plugins, then it would be a good idea to get rid of them. They are available under the Office add-in section or simply click on Add-ins button and switch to My add-in section. Here you will find list of all the add-ins available. If there are add-ins that you do not use anymore, uninstall them. If you see any of them is due an update, make sure to do it. Another approach will be to disable all the add-ins and then enable them one by one to find out what is causing the problem. Method 4. The user app data folder is one location where Outlook stores certain data. If the app data folder is set to a network location and the network has an issue, it will result in slow loading time of Outlook. It is always a good idea to set it to a local folder on the same computer. Open Registry Editor by typing regedit in the run prompt followed by pressing the enter key. Navigate to hk underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash current version backslash explorer backslash user shell folders. Look at the app data string and double click on it to edit the value. Set it to percentage user profile percentage backslash app data backslash roaming for the best performance. Method 5. If you have a large PST file and Windows search start indexing when you're working, it will result in slowness. It would be best to make sure that the Windows search runs the indexer during off time or keep it running at night so the indexing completes the job. Go to File menu and click on Options from bottom left corner. Under Options, click Search Tools and then select Indexing Options. In the Indexing Status dialog box, view the number of items that remain to be indexed. It should give you a clear idea of how many are left. If there are too many, keep it running unless it completes the operation.
Method 6. If nothing else works, then it would be the best idea to create a new Outlook profile. If the profile for some reason is misconfigured and you are not able to repair it, then creating a new one will definitely help you out. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.